Oh man, so Phantom fell almost 17% from its high yesterday as investors were left a little disappointed with some of these big announcements we were waiting for at the Phantom Developers Conference. Now, you guys will know if you've been watching this channel for a while, I've made this super clear. I got so much stick in the comments on some of my videos because I was posting videos such as warning, Phantom, if you're holding Phantom, watch out for this because I knew this was going to happen, guys. And I'm here for the long run of Phantom and these these people in this community aren't, right? The ones who are saying, oh, phantom to the moon, phantom to the moon, they don't have your best interests at heart. And that's why you will always see me erring on the side of caution, because that's what my job here is to do. I want to protect this community from making small time frame trades, which are going to hurt them. Now, if you're holding phantom for the long term, none of this affects you, right? And that's why it didn't bother me as well, because I knew this was going to happen. But I knew there's a whole bunch of traders trying to pump the price, trying to come onto videos like this and other phantom related content to say phantom to the moon phantom to the moon but they're the exact ones that were selling at three dollars forty leaving innocent people who are interested in phantom for the long run burnt on the price okay so always 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 be careful of anybody that says you know we're going to run to a certain price target uh, by a certain date things don't work like that i've been trading stocks shares uh, equities bonds uh, various different things in crypto of course for a long period of time and events always end up anticlimactic and i made that very clear in the run up to this conference that you're very likely to get by the rumor sell the news the price is going to run up and then it will retrace back down the only time you will not get that and i mentioned this as well is if the Phantom team come out and produce an announcement, which is going to be massive. And we got rumors that we were perhaps going to get an, a massive announcement yesterday, but all they announced was that they're going to launch an exchange using Binance Cloud Exchange, right? And we covered that in yesterday's video and stream, which has left the market feeling somewhat deflated because they were expecting something a bit more uh, interesting, like a Coinbase listing or Binance US or something different, right? So that is one thing. And I think that's actually a good thing in the long term because you can trade phantom pairs, but we'll cover that off probably on the live stream or something else. But for now, what I want to do is I want to get back into the charts. I want to show you the different price targets from different time frames, just to study where we're at from a technical basis. If you want to understand my viewpoint from a fundamental basis, you have to go and watch my video from yesterday. It's one of the most, imp it is the most important video you'll watch on phantom in 2021 for sure and if you find another one send it to me in the discord okay tag me in discord with a better video on phantom because this video is going to give you the fundamentals of why i feel it's so undervalued and why i feel it's a long-term hold for me okay anybody trading this who's bothered by the 17 percent they're exactly that right they're a trader who got burnt anybody who's holding this for the long run there's nothing to be worried about. And I'm going to show you that in the charts. Now, before we get into this, guys, if you haven't gone uh, to the description below and you haven't claimed your free uh, free money from these guys, I mean, it's, rarely that, it's rare that companies give you some free cash, but in the link below, you've got BlockFi willing to give you $10 in free Bitcoin when you fund $100. You don't even need to spend the $100. You just need to fund it. And that's going to turn into $110, I guess, right? Coinbase are going to give you $10 if you buy or sell $100 worth of Bitcoin but Swissborg is the most generous one down there which is going to give you up to 100 euros when you deposit just 50 euros so make sure you spend a few minutes below setting those up i'm in the uk so Swissborg, BlockFi, and coinbase are all platforms i need to have set up uh, and i consider you guys do the same because when you get a crash in bitcoin like this you don't want to be messing around playing with your uh, exchanges you want to be ready to buy and uh, you don't want to be caught out on that so let's get straight into the charts guys so Let's start off with the hourly charts. I know this is where a lot of people skew their view of Phantom because they're trading it on a day frame and they kind of mess up their expectation. So let's actually objectively look at what's just happened. So we had a run up. OK, let's go back here to 6th of October. We had a run up. We entered a continuation pattern. We thought we were going to get a breakout. We didn't. We ended up going sideways a bit longer because Bitcoin had its period of strength. No problem. We eventually got our breakout. We got our breakout and we rode all the way to up to the price target here of $3.04, which I told you was the target all the way back in the first week of October we set this price target. Great. So beautiful trade there. You guys would have made a lot of money trading that from the, the wedge there up to $3.04 about 50% on your money with, without any leverage. Please don't use leverage, guys. So that's your first bit. We then got a bit of a bonus run up to $3.48. And I was erring of caution there. Now, we know my next target for my Fibonacci lines are $3.09. That's fine. But I was always I was always conscious of this. 
Okay, now this happened first from Bitcoin. We got that dump, but we bounced back up. And this second one was by the rumor, sell the news. So what you had here was Bitcoin dumped and so Phantom dumped. Fine. But then the, the dip buyers bought it because they thought, oh, we're going to have a massive announcement. And then they just dumped on us after the announcement came. Okay. So that's what we're seeing here. This is why people are upset because that's a retracement down of about 17%, okay? 16, 17% down from there uh, to where we're at, okay? So you can see that there. Now, that's why, now what does that mean in terms of the longer time frame? Well, let's just start with the hourly. On the hourly, we've not even lost the 200 exponential moving average, right? We've bounced off of it there. We've bounced off of it here. So we are still bullish here. If I bring out the EMA ribbon, it's slightly different because here you've lost it here in the Bitcoin dump and you've lost it in the buy the rumor, sell the news, but we need to break above it here on the hourly chart. Now, let's switch over to a slightly larger time frame. Let's head over to the four hourly. And you will see even on the four hourly, there is nothing here to worry about. Even with the manipulation we saw, even with the Bitcoin leverage crash and then uh, the buy the rumor, sell the news. So this was Bitcoin. And this one was by the rumor, sell the news. You can see now we've had three strong, uh, three green, not super strong, but three green uh, four hourly candles, which is suggesting that we are bouncing from just the middle of the EMA ribbon, suggesting we can get a good move to the upside. And if you look at every time we've bounced from the EMA ribbon, you get a good move. Bounce from the EMA ribbon, get a good move to the upside. So I'm expecting fully here that we get a good move to the upside because nothing fundamentally has changed with Phantom, but we just need to let it call off for a little bit. Anytime you've had an event like that, let it cool off. It's been in the news too much. Too many people have been covering it who shouldn't be covering Phantom. Too many pump boys are chasing it as well. Let it cool down. Let it retrace. Let us pick some more up at cheap price points as it cools off. And I want to show you what I mean by cooling off because this is the daily chart, okay? And uh, let's not forget the run we've been on on Phantom. I mean, we were picking this up here at 13 cents, guys. And now that it was sitting at $3.14, uh, there's nothing wrong with a slight cooling off. I mean, if we were to show you, um, if I'm to show you on this chart and on here, we should have our Fibonacci levels drawn out. Uh, I think I have it on the weekly. There we go. And you can see that from here, all we've done here on Phantom, let's just draw you out there, is we've we've come, we've run all the way up from here and we've gone straight through to 3.50, right? $3.50. Now it's fine if you get a calling back down, even down to $1.90, guys. That's your 0.76. Even down slightly further to hit your 0.5 level is healthy. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it's healthy. And you should not be panicking uh, so easily on small little dips down. Obviously, if you're trading the hourly time frame, those are the people that are upset. So coming on to the daily back again, you can see here on the daily chart that we are just super extended here still on our EMA ribbon. You can even come down to the top of the EMA ribbon, $2.46. You can even penetrate the ribbon down to $2.20, $2.19, and it's still bullish on the daily. Technically, you can even get down to the bottom of the ribbon at $1.90, bounce back, and you will still remain bullish on the daily time frame. okay? So if you're trading this on anything over the hourly time frames or four hourly time frames, so you're trading this on a daily, weekly time frame, you have nothing to worry about on Phantom right now. It's uh, super bullish. The narrative in the layer one space is super hot. And you can see this is just continuing to go from strength to strength. OK, now really important as well as if we quickly look at Bitcoin dominance, you will see that the dominance is starting to fall. It broke out from this wedge and now we're heading down. If we can get down to 40, 42, 41, all coins can really start running, which is interesting because Bitcoin's moving 0.5 percent right now. And you've got Ethereum up more than it, a percent. So is Ethereum starting to do its faster move? And if Ethereum starts to move faster than Bitcoin, your all coins will move even faster. So you can already see phantoms retraced a little bit, 3.5 percent up today. You can see Solana's up 1.6 percent, which is more than Bitcoin. You've got, um, what else have we got? We've got DOT moving 2.6%. We've got LINK moving 3%. You've got Theta moving 6%. So we can start to see altcoins starting to move uh, faster than Bitcoin today, which is very interesting. Something we want to definitely keep an eye on over the coming hours. So there you have it, guys. That's what's happened with Phantom. Nothing to be worried about if you're invested for the long run. And this is why you have to throw caution to the wind. And you always see me erring on the side of caution. Don't listen to the people in the comments that say, oh, you know, this guy doesn't always talking about phantoms going to the moon. I've been here. I've heard it before. I heard it with Bitcoin. I heard it with Ethereum. Every coin will retrace. Every coin is susceptible to buy the rumor, sell the news. Every coin is susceptible to manipulation. Stay safe out there. 
trade smartly, don't listen to people who, you know, don't know what they're talking about fundamentally, and, uh, you know, just stick to the things you know, look at the analysis, do your own research, that's always very important, and just never be scared to take profits, guys. If you're trading on a small time frame, never, never be scared to take profits. If you're holding for the long term, only do so in your high conviction plays. And the best way to judge high conviction plays is if the price is to retrace by 50%, how do you feel? Are you going to panic sell? Or are you going to hold it? And if you're going to hold it, that's a high conviction player, okay? Because if Ada retraced now to a dollar, I'm okay, right? If Solada retraced 30, 40%, I'm okay. If Phantom retraced down to a dollar 20, I'm okay. Uh, so that's that's the point here. You need to have high conviction in your plays if you're trading on the longer time frame. As always, guys, if you like my blend between fundamental and technical analysis, then please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. It really supports this channel out. Let's get us to 10,000 subscribers. How quickly do you think we can do that, guys? Uh, we're sitting at about 3,200. How quickly can we get to 10K subscribers? Please help me out by sharing this video with your communities and liking the button, hitting the like button, of course. As always, check the links in the description to set up your Coinbase, SwissBorg, and BlockFi. Collect all your rewards. No reason you shouldn't. These companies rarely give out free money, so go and collect all of those off these guys. If you silly not to, I've gone and done that as well. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.